Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Aslek, medical student from GMC Manjari. Today we'll be talking about how I make my videos. Yeah, it's like a behind the scenes session. Every video that you see in my channel goes through four steps. The script, the shoot, I edit it and finally animate it and done. A lot of people believe that you need big cameras and big lights to start a YouTube channel. You really don't need that. Today I'll be walking through my process and you'll understand what I have and how I make my videos. So if you're interested, sit till the end. Without further delay, let's get started. The first phase, script making. This is the first step in all my videos. I make a detailed script in it. When an idea comes to me or when I think of what video should I make next, I write it in my phone. I now use my uh, mobile phone to write my script. I actually use the Google Docs app and sometimes I use the Google Keep app and both of these actually sync with any of the devices like if you're using an iPad or if you're using a laptop, you can uh, directly sync them. So if you're writing in your phone, you can get in your laptop. So that's why I use these apps and these apps are very good. Now my process of scripting have underwent a lot of change. Uh, usually I used to just try to bullet points and try to explain it. From that bullet point method, I went into detailed scripting so that I can avoid maximum errors when I'm recording. After scripting comes the second phase that is shooting. Now what device do I use to shoot? I don't have a DSLR camera. I use my iPad Pro 10.5 which is 2017 model. Now you'll come to me and say iPad Pro is not a budget option. Wait, my iPad is a 2017 model iPad Pro and it have the same camera as iPhone 6s or 7. So it is not iPad Pro. What I'm recording, this video that I'm recording, is as same if you record it in iPhone 7 or iPhone 6. I think that's a budget option, right? Even though I use an iPad Pro, technically speaking, it's as same as recording with an iPhone 7 or iPhone 6s. So iPad Pro is my uh, primary camera and this, my mobile phone Mi A3 is my secondary camera. This is what I use to shoot, you know, my day in my life and study with me videos. All those studying footages, my uh, milk <laughs> buying journey and my walk, everything was shot on this. So this is my secondary camera and I only have two cameras, my phone and my iPad Pro. My audio setup is a lavalier mic. This guy is right here, Boya M1. It's a very cheap mic, you know, less than 500 or 600 rupees. I'll put the link in the description. So I don't have any fancy audio setup, just this lavalier mic. Last week when I was shooting from the other room, I actually shot the entire process with this phone and I'll show you that footage so that you can see how I shoot my video. Now let's see how I make my videos. So this is the iPad Pro. And yes, this is my tripod. Yeah, I need to add a little height to it. So I stack up a couple of books. This is my mic, Boy M1. And this is the ring light that I use. Now it's time to set up the tripod. Before that I have to turn the air conditioner on because if you are a content creator you know that noise is a very difficult thing and if I turn on my fan then the entire video will have that noise. When I was recording my first video I turned the fan off to avoid noise and I was completely soaked in sweat. So I finally stack up my books and make my tripod. Yeah, I have to make my tripod every time. So this is my setup. I'll talk about the mirror in a minute. Let me turn on the camera app. So this is my frame, you know, my shooting frame. This is how it looks. Okay, so this is my shooting setup. Now let's come back to the mirror. The mirror is actually my viewfinder. Yeah, I don't have a flip out screen in iPad. So I need to know, you know, I need to see me when I'm shooting myself. So I use this mirror as my <laughs> viewfinder. Yeah, it's a state of the art viewfinder. You know, it's important to see when you're recording yourself because we sometimes move out of frame and all. So this really helps me. No, this is the chair which I sit on, but if I sit like this, there won't be enough height. So I use a cushion from one of my sofas so that yeah, it gives me a good amount of height. 
so let me get the cushion okay ready now it's time to sit on it and now I perfectly fit on the frame if you're wondering what I'm holding that's a gorilla board and that's my my a3 on that it's a very cheap one from Amazon I'll put the link in the description hi there After setting up, I take the mic and connect it to my shirt and this is the ring light. I rarely use it these days because I had a very bad experience with the ring light. You know, it was, uh, I forgot to actually reduce the brightness of it and since I kept it so close to my eyes, I had a small bleach of my photo pigments. I was having this violet color all over the eye. So if you're using ring light, make sure that you're not uh, staying so close to it and you're not putting it in you know, full brightness. Can really affect your eyes so this is my shooting setup a ring light a couple of books and you can see my ipad over there so this is my shooting setup i also have one more tripod and this this is not a dress hanger no it's a tripod ta -da, ta -da. i put the gorilla pod on it and you know it becomes a perfect tripod now what do I use this for? I use this to take, you know, study with me shots or when I'm studying something or, you know, when I'm sitting. Uh, I'll show you one of the footage which I have used this. So that was my video shooting process. I hope you now understand why I say that it's a budget setup. And I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's get to the third stage that is editing. In the initial days of my channel, I used to edit everything with my phone. I used KineMaster app, you know, when I was uploading lectures and all. Then recently I switched it to my iPad and I used the app known as VN Video Editor, which is a free app. I mean the best app out there, which is completely free. No watermark, nothing. So these are the two apps that I use. I don't use a PC software to edit my videos. The next software that I use is Audacity for noise reduction in my videos. There are different videos in YouTube where you can learn about how to use Audacity for noise reduction. I'll put my favorite one in the description. Now, what do I edit in my videos? I edit mainly my, you know, errors when I record the video. Yes, I make a lot of errors and I edit them out and that's the major uh, editing process. And then comes the final process that is animation. I use two Android apps to animate my videos, Pixel Flow and Hype Text. I use Hype Text to make you know the videos at the lower end, like follow me on Instagram, Ask like Medical Student, all the stuff. And Pixel Flow is the major animation software that I use, you know, for the text-based animations like point number one, point number two, like editing, all those things. That's what I use Pixel Flow. The best thing about Pixel Flow is that they will allow you to export the videos in HD quality. So these two apps are what I use for animation. So that's all about my video making part. Now before I end this video, I need to tell you something. I'm not a big YouTuber. I don't have a huge success at all, but I wanted to tell you this. You don't need, you know, a huge camera setup, a professional lighting setup or a professional <laughs> audio setup to start a YouTube channel. I don't have a great studio setup. I use the sunlight as my main light source. I don't have any fancy lights as there's an empty wall behind me and yeah this is my study desk couple of my textbooks highlighters you know for aesthetic benefit sometimes i take a flower from my mother's garden and put it here that's my studio setup that's enough you know people don't really care about all this they only care about the content that you're giving them the reason why i made this video is to tell you that don't get disheartened that you don't have a lot of technology and money to start a youtube channel you don't need it your content is what that really matters. So make sure that you're uh, making quality content and enjoy the process and you will soon see the results coming up. You have now seen how I make my videos and I think I'm an example of what you can do with just your budget setup. And I know people who make much better videos with much budget setup than me. So it's not about the cameras, it's not about the light, it's not about the mic. It's about the content that you put into it. So if you want to start a YouTube channel, go and start it make that first video upload it and see the magic happening and please try to enjoy the process don't think too much about the likes and subscribers they'll come along just try to enjoy the process because you know how difficult my process is 
and why should I do this if I don't enjoy this? So it's not about the like and views, it's about the process and enjoying it. So that's all about it. I hope you enjoyed my behind the scenes journey and now you know how difficult my video making process is. So if you wish to support me, please consider sharing this channel with your friends. And if you know someone will benefit from this video, like, you know, an aspiring YouTuber or something, do share it with them. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to press that thumbs up. And if you haven't, don't forget to press that subscribe button. See you in the next video. Thank you. Take care.